Hi YouTube, this is Superperson, and I'm here to do another update on my tank. Not too much has changed. I will say cycling-wise, it's finally getting out of the not-so-pretty algae phase. Um, I'm not an expert again, but I, from my experience with tanks, I've found that they go through a couple stages, especially newly established tanks. Uh, the first stage is instability, like pH will fluctuate, won't stay stable, things like that, salinity maybe. With me it's always pH that just goes crazy. And then after that when the tank actually like, when the ammonia and everything's stable, the pH is stable and you can add fish, and when you start adding fish it hits like this algae explosion where you get every color algae, every type of algae growing on everything. And it's sort of annoying. And that last, uh, couple months at least. This this had been going on for, I don't know, three months or so of just ugly algae. It's not bad for the tank. It's not bad at all. It's just not pretty. And finally it is sort of dying down and just kind of receding off the walls for the most part and receding off the sand and not so much on the rocks. It was just covering the rocks. Like it was green everywhere. Really thick, hairy green algae. The algae had gotten so bad that red algae has actually practically killed one of my corals. Yeah, it's sad. Um, I think it's dead. It's still got some heads left, but that algae had did a number on it. So anyway, here's the tank. There you go. Uh, not much has changed. It is uh, doing good. Uh, let's see, what can I say about it? My little goby friend has moved to the front for right now. See? I call him Sonny. Sonny the goby. And then my clownfish, he's doing fine. His name is, uh, what's his name? Oxford. Oxford. There we go. Oxford the clownfish. He's doing fine. I may get another one just to have another one. I like watching them pair up. I like watching them fight and do the whole initial dominance battle and when they get along in the end, it's just so cute to see them sleep together. So I don't know, I may get one. If the tank still does fine and the algae dies away, I'll get one. But um, as you can see, the uh, pulsing zinnia is doing really good. It's very happy where it is right now. I think the last time I showed the video, it was in a different spot. I don't remember. But um, I moved it up here a while ago to give it more flow, and it's just been loving it. Look at it pulse. It's just... Really fun corals. I, I totally suggest this coral if you're like in new to saltwater. It's not a hard coral to take care of. Um, it's well, it's sort of a hit or miss coral. Like all the other times I got in this, it died in all my old tanks. I think because of lighting, I never had a good light source for it. So now that I have a dedicated light over this tank and it's a good light, I have had no problems with it. And it's funny, the, coral I, the one coral I've always had and had no problems with at all is this thing down here. The, um, what's it called? Uh, oh god, I don't know what it's called right now. That's embarrassing. Um, polyps, oh, what's it called? Zeus, Zeus. I believe it's Zeus. Um, yeah, as you can see, algae, let me see if I can focus this. Okay. Algae has sort of covered it. And there was heads all over that rock. It was massively green. It was beautiful. But that red algae has just murdered the poor thing. So, yeah. My zoos aren't doing too well. Things happen. You can't really control. I don't really feel bad. It's... I'll get another coral if it dies. I'm, I'm still leaving it in there. I could pull it out, but I'm leaving it in there just to see if it lives. And recently I added this coral. It is called Trumpet Coral, I believe, or Candy King Coral. I think it's Trumpet Coral. And it's pretty cool looking. Um, it opens up, it's like a very limish green. It opens up during the day like this. At night it shrivels up to almost nothing. I've seen videos on YouTube where it extends feeder tentacles, because you can actually feed it. Sort of like you can feed zoos if you want. But um, mine hasn't done that. I think the light is enough that it doesn't really care to want to do the feeder tentacles. I've tried spraying food in it, and it doesn't really seem to really, once again, care about the food. But if it isn't dying, and it doesn't care, then I don't care. If it wants to eat, I will feed it. If I see those tentacles, I will throw the food in its mouth. But if not, it's doing fine, so that's pretty cool. 
And of course my little guy down there. Him. See that kind of like grassy algae right there? It's pretty cool again, isn't it? It's algae. It's still, I still have algae. That's actually a new algae that's growing. And I think it looks kind of leafy. I think it's pretty. Um, I think something I added that I didn't mention last time is my power head. It is a tiny, tiny power head. I don't think I have the box anymore. Nope, got rid of the box. It's a tiny power head. The smallest one I could find. It was like 30, 40 bucks at my local fish store. And at first I thought it'd be too much because it's meant for like a 10 gallon tank or something. But actually it does fine. Like you don't see it blowing anything too much. It's doing good. Now it really needs, you need good circulation in a saltwater tank. And I knew eventually I'd have to get something. And I got that. And I've had power heads before and I always like them. I mean the last time I had a power head my clownfish made it on it and had babies on it. And they really liked it. So the fish don't seem to care much about the power heads. Um, what else? Mm. My feather duster, this is a little tube. He still comes out, but the algae's sort of on top of it. Nothing really new with him. Nothing too new. Um, hermit crabs are fine. I'm trying to think what else to say. Yeah, not much to really say besides that, I don't think. It's slowly rolling. Um, I plan on getting more coral in a couple months when they have some sale where they give out coupons or something about like you get frags because I always buy frags for these small tanks because I don't need some huge hunk of a rock with coral it's just too tiny my tank's just small yeah so that's the update hold on let me there we go um yeah so tank's doing good nothing too substantial I've had a few leaks here and there um but um, coral's doing good, except for that poor zoo in the corner. But next time, maybe you'll see more coralline algae growing. I see some coming now. Um, maybe the algae will be dead completely at that point, And you'll see some new coral. Uh, hopefully some colorful coral, some different. I'm not sure yet. Maybe a new fish. I may have a new fish next time I do this. Yeah, so um, with the fish videos, if you have any questions and you want to make a video about it, like if you want to know something about fish and you want me to like make a video about that. I'm not an expert again, but I've been doing this for a couple years. I know a little bit of fish. Um, just let me know. So thanks for watching everybody and have a super day.